Hi everybody. Well, I'm coming to you here from Egypt. It's actually Monica and myself, but Monica is behind the camera. I hope you can hear me okay. We've got a number of things going on behind us. There's a wedding reception about to start. We have some of the mosque uh, prayers uh, uh, still in the background. Egypt is a happening place, and this is the third time we've been here with our group. I want to start this very little greeting. This is a short greeting to you by asking you please the thousands who are going to watch this right now to stop and give conscious intent for compassion to those on this planet right now who need it the most the ones who are in fear the ones who uh, have lost loved ones the ones um, you know with the situation that is going on right now you know crying even talked about this time he said there might be a time when you give a war and nobody comes. And what he meant by that is a metaphor. This is the first time something like this has happened and the world has reacted in a way that you see. It's never happened this way before. What if our consciousness is actually, as a planet, a little higher than it was 40 or 50 years ago? And this is what Krein said, watch for these things. The planet is reacting to something it didn't use to react to. You know what I mean, especially if you've studied history. It's happening in the way Cryon said it would happen. So let's see it come to fruition that peace would be, be here a lot sooner, perhaps, than people are predicting. It's up to us. So, compassionate action is up to us, and we can do it. So I wanted to start with that. Tomorrow, we take our group of about 130 people or more <laughs> to the Egyptian Museum. There, we're going to see a whole lot of things we, uh, that, that are very special. We'll see the, uh, what the, some of the original things were brought out of uh, Tutankhamun's tomb. That would be King Tut, to many of you. Uh, very, very fascinating things. There's just so much in that museum. By the way, almost everything there is currently being moved to a brand new museum, which is going to be just enormous in size and have so much more than the original. Unfortunately, it's not quite open yet. It's going to be numbers of months before it is. So we missed that one. Perhaps the next time um, Elon gives a tour to Egypt, that uh, you would be involved in coming with that. And uh, whoever guest is going to be there, uh, we have like uh, whether it's going to be a channeler, or whether it's going to be a scientist or somebody we don't know yet. But these, these tours, I know, are going to continue. This is not the last Egypt tour, but it might be the last one that I'm involved in. Only because I've done it three times. <laughs> and then you'll hear from me when we're uh, at certain tombs and temples, and I'll be able to tell you. One of the exciting things in the museum is seeing the original Rosetta Stone. And if you don't know what that is, it's that which was discovered in about the 1800s or so, or 1800, I actually think, where they got to see how hieroglyphs work and how they could be translated. And that was exciting because the Egyptian language had been dead for 2,000 years and nobody knew how to read it. And that then changed absolutely everything. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. And I'll be coming back to you at uh, certain times to let you know where we are and what we're doing. So that's my little short message. Please remember, compassionate action works, especially when thousands of people do it together. We can create peace on this planet, and we will.